let's do a quick test here. I'm using uh, my favorite 3D program, Carrara, and I'm doing a little rendering here. That's actually going pretty fast, um, but I still wanted to make this a little like, example here to, to show you what might happen when you have something even more sophisticated, more complex, and that takes more time to render. Um, I've got the settings pretty high here, but I'm not using sky lighting or indirect lighting. Um, you know, you could have possibly a moon that's shining, some more light there if you needed more visual realism. It could take forever to render that, and it's not a very high resolution here, just 960 by 540. Um, but even that, just a 4 second animation at 30 frames per second, it could take quite a while. And uh, you see here, we have an estimate of about a time left, about 11 minutes. And we usually don't have 11 minutes, right? And Or even hours when you have uh, something really sophisticated to render. So the thing I'm talking about here is that you've got a customer that tells you roughly what they want. Maybe it's for a new website, it's exploration, and uh, maybe a science fiction book, and you want the Earth to slowly spin around. In fact, I have some examples here. Let me pull those in. And, and, and basically, um, you know, you, you came to an agreement as to what you want to see and render, and, and then they tell you, and maybe it's your boss, so you really have no argument there. <laughs> it tells you, yeah, that's fine, that's nice, but it's too fast, it spins too fast, you want it to go really slowly. You've seen that in games too, some very popular 3D games, uh, while you're making your decisions as to what you want to, you know, what avatar you want to play, or what uh, weapons you want to choose, what colors and so on, which levels you're gonna play, you may have some slow spinning planet in the background, and it's not gonna go that fast, because there's no action quite yet, so it's gonna go slowly, tumbling very, very slowly. And so what I'm talking about is doing something that's uh, more like this. Not this one's still fast, it's a little bit smaller. Uh, and then I think I, I put that into lag arrays. But what we can't do is simply use the time stretch because the time stretch with uh, frame blending is going to introduce uh, sort of a strobing effect. And we've seen this before in other videos, but I'll uh, highlight that one more time just to show that.